Hello, I'm Mary V. Today, let me ask you, how did you start the violin? So maybe you started the violin because there was a violin in the house or someone gave it to your family and you picked it up and you wanted to play it or you saw something on YouTube or whatever. There's a million different reasons why people start the violin. So let me tell you how I started the violin. Um, well, just before, when I was about five years old, I was in the kitchen at home and the radio was on and I remember it was the Jupiter Symphony by Mozart. And I suddenly stopped and I listened intently and I, it was as if I'd never heard music before. In fact, maybe I hadn't really noticed it. Uh, but I consciously noticed it and I completely understood the language. Uh, everything that Mozart was saying, I just knew. I just understood it all in a one, you know. So I think it was at the age of seven. I was in school daydreaming as usual because I kind of, I didn't like school at all. I felt very trapped and, um, you know, I didn't like to take part in anything. Anyway, these teachers or people came round and were asking people if they wanted to sign up for violin lessons. I didn't take any notice, but uh, my teacher said, well, your, your sister Anne has signed up, Mary, so sh you should sign up. So I was signed up, uh, <clears throat> all because of my sister Anne, you see. So uh, my first violin lesson, I took to it like a duck to water, actually. Um, I just absolutely loved it. Um, it was very different from schoolwork. It was something where I, I was absorbing everything all the time and it was very, very enjoyable. Um, <clears throat> and my first teacher was uh, Mr. Ruddock and he organised a fantastic concert for all us beginners. He started us all off and we were all... Um, lined up on the stage, sort of facing sideways like this, you know. All of us facing sideways. And um, I think we played Daffodil Dell. Um, and I was terrified. I was incredibly aware of the audience, you know, walking on. But um, the lights and the, you know, we were on this concert stage. And, but as soon as we started playing, the concentration kicked in. And uh, I, I just loved it, and I still remember it, you know, because uh, I'm 64 now, and I think I started when I was seven. So it's lifetime, absolute lifetime of um, violin, right? So that's what it does to you, you know, whether you end up playing in an orchestra, or on YouTube, or doing gigs, or playing folk music, no matter how you use your violin, or how your career ends up, it's love, and that's what it is. Okay, so I, I thought I'd ask you, you know, how did you start? Um, I mean, I feel it's almost destiny because I didn't actually speak up and sign on myself. It was just kind of meant to be, really. <laughs> so it's been great, been fantastic. And I think in the language of music, um, understanding what Mozart was saying and understanding music doesn't mean that you can't develop your musicality because uh, that's what playing on the violin is really all about. It's a, a, a massive lifelong development actually. Um, so anyway, that's my story. So uh, let me know how you started and uh, I'll leave it there and I'll say bye-bye for now. Bye.